Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 2.11, Problem 13. This is Section 2.11, Problem 13. It says Dave has three and three quarter cups of mashed potatoes. If he wants to split it into five equal parts, how much would be in each part? He probably has five people to feed, most likely is what he's doing. So, and maybe these are leftovers. So he has three and three quarter cups of mashed potatoes, and he wants to split it into five parts. So if we divide by five, that will split it into five parts. So that's the math we have to do. Now in order to do this, a couple of things have to happen. When we divide fractions, we want to flip the second fraction or invert it and multiply. So to do that, the three and three quarters are going to have to be writ so that, written so that it only has a numerator and a denominator. We have to make it an improper fraction. And the five, there is not a top and a bottom to flip, so we'll put a one under it. So to start this problem, let's convert the three and three fourths. So coming from the denominator to the number in front, we will multiply. We'll multiply four times three. Four times three gives me a result of 12. I'll take that result of 12 and add it to the numerator, 12 plus 3. 12 plus 3 will make a 15. The denominator stays the same. It was 4. It's divided by the 5 is going to have to be written as 5 over 1 to continue with the process of the division. Now that I have a separate top and bottom for the 5, now I can convert this to a multiplication and invert that 5 over 1. So the 15 over 4 will stay the way it is. The operation becomes a multiply. The second fraction is written 1 over 5. Now I can go ahead and multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and reduce. And it'll reduce pretty nicely. Or if you notice, the 5 and the 15 now you can pre-reduce. And you'll get the same answer either way. But I think it's a little easier if you reduce first. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 15 three times. Now, when I multiply numerator times numerator, I'm multiplying 3 times 1, which is 3. Denominator times denominator will be 4 times 1, which is 4. And now the final answer is 3 fourths. So if you split the 3 and 3 quarter cups of mashed potatoes into 5 equal parts, each part is 3 quarters of a cup of mashed potatoes.